one. Okay. We want to get everything ready. Prime the brown one because the wire is going to come out of the brown one. So just clavicle okay back here resting up against the edge of the clavicle so my thumb is literally a thumb breath away the patient is in reverse trendalum breath so the vein should be nice and full you literally put it through the skin and then you go and I'm feeling it in my thumb and then I'm touching his clavicle so there I am on the clavicle so I know what the depth of the clavicle is now I push back and then I push this down so I'm, I'm pushing the tip of the of the needle down I'm pulling back on the syringe with this with this hand and then I'm just advancing under the clavicle in a straight line towards the external notch and there it is I hit the vein okay take that off it's not spreading back Now the one thing that sometimes happens, especially on the right side, is that the wire won't be. In which case, a good maneuver is to get an assistant to pull the shoulder down. And I actually pulled the shoulder down uh, beforehand. Okay. The rest of it is just like any other central line. Right? But you see how... Uh, okay, this is important. See how I stretch the skin? I'm actually not going to cut his skin because he's got such uh, such loose skin. But you actually, remember we were talking about stretching? See how I counter traction? And then I push this. All the time I've got a wire. So that's why I was, you know how I was talking in the lounge about the counter traction? That's what that is. So the risk of a pneumothorax is nil because I never point it down towards the lung. And when you start going into the block root and you um, and you start standing, you'll see that the lung is actually a long way away. Okay. So you see how fast a subclavian line can be. This is just a flush, so I've got nice backflow.